Hi, today we are going to be looking at the CFA level one quant study strategy. Quant has 11 learning modules. It has a weightage of six to nine percent. Some of the quant topics have been moved to the prerequisite. I have created a video about the prerequisite. If you want to watch that, click there. And now looking at these 11 topics, how should we attack it? Should we all think about all 11 equally? Now, if you have the time, obviously study all the 11 topics, you know, with thorough, in a thorough manner, equal importance. However, if you want to strategize how to go about this, the first five learning modules, right, starting with your rates and return, all the way to your portfolio mathematics, I would like to call that as basic statistical concepts. It talks about what is mean, what's the uh, standard deviation, what's the, what are the types of rates, uh, time value of money, very key concepts. I will spend some time and understand this well because you're going to be using this across the CFA curriculum and everywhere else when you go to work. So the statistical concepts from learning module one to five is very important. Amongst these five, time value of money is the most important one. So definitely uh, pay some special attention when you are looking at time value of money. This concept is going to be used when you are doing equity, when you are going to be studying for fixed income, economics even, obviously in derivatives. So focus on this one, spend some time you know, in the curriculum looking through some of the examples as well. So try to score as much as possible from learning module 1 to 5 because this is basic and even if you are from a non-quant background, this could be something you can score in these five topics. Now, the sixth and the seventh, the topics on uh, simulation, estimation, and inference is all leading up to hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is a technique that you will use in various areas to check if your conclusion is statistically significant. So your learning module eight is important. In this entire hypothesis uh, test, you focus on your learning module eight because here you're going to be introduced to the concept of performing a hypothesis test, right? And what is the p-value? So this is going to be the foundation for a lot of data analysis work. And learning module 10, which is linear regression, introduction, I guess, primarily in level one, they develop on this one in level two, very important for forecasting techniques. If you're going to be a quant-based analyst, linear regression is really important. So focus on learning module 10, spend enough time to understand this. And then there is an the introduction to uh, data and that is your learning module 11. Uh, that's mostly theory, uh, the, data, the big data techniques. Uh, you can spend a little bit of time, not so, you don't have to worry so much about that. So I would say learning module 2, very important, but the entire learning module 1 to 5 is critical that you score as high as possible, as close to 100% as possible. Then focus on hypothesis testing learning module 8 and regression, which is learning module 10. Okay, so that should be the attack strategy. Uh, quant is something that a lot of students from the accounts and commerce background have some difficulty. So this could probably be a way to tackle it. I refer to this slide for you know the areas you should focus on. I have also said that learning module four, which is the topic on uh, the probability tree, the particularly the base formula because that's such an important concept and you should expect a question from an examination perspective understanding base formula how to apply it is critical so maybe if you have to choose another topic in the one to five focus on probability theory hopefully this helps you crack quant if you have any questions leave a comment below all the very best